The archive. Conversation terminated. The memory gem you recovered is what its name suggests. It contains an earthen's memories, directive and a hot coding of our edicts. Building the archive is the nexus of our civil civilization. Here memories are cycled, catalogued and stored at the end of an earthen scheduled rotation. With the codex I have invented we can access one or two memories from a memory gem. Says? Yeah, take it and read the memory gem you found. Return if you have more queries. I'm Merrix, Council Ward of Donegal. I appreciate your aid, especially in light of the broad nature of your arrival. You must forgive Stormward Balgrim's. Uh, you must forgive Stormward Balgrim. Being suspicious is part of his directive. A formal discussion of our situation is warranted. If you wish to strike back at the Nerubians as as we do, meet us at the Foundation Hall. Belgrim and I need to review the data so far. In the meantime, you are my guest. Take my ring, it will allow you to access Dornigal's amenities. Conversation terminated. Welcome Nerubians everywhere. Look out! It was Odin. I knew him. Mom. His memory will be preserved. Please deposit his memory gem into the archive's repository. So, the archive holds every Earthen's memories. Can you view them? Dagrin, this may be a solemn ritual for them. His query is valid. Yes, but the archive has been inaccessible for thousands of years. <clears throat> Mm, I'm really curious if there will be a patch where they'll make the archive accessible and maybe some doing some memories, some reliving some memories as a kind of instanced content like the visions of Nzalf back in the day or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. I speak for the machines. The archive. It is comforting that Odin will be preserved in the archive. I will ensure your name. Thank you. Keep the device. Ask guard you about find use of profession it trainers. Find more memory gems. Profession trainers. Dagrin, this seems like a place you'd be keen to explore. I'll be back for you when I know it's safe. And I want to... Oh, there's a stay a while and listen. Thing, I guess. Is it another puzzle to solve? Yes. Keep Can I ask you another question, Speaker Brinth? Yes, small one. My current directive is to answer your questions. Fantastic. I'm much obliged. Hmm. Where to start? How long has Dornigal been here? Unknown. Our archive would contain that information, but as I said, it is non functioning. I should be writing this down. I'm standing here with a living relic. No offense. Can you give me a rough estimate? The archive's last access day was approximately 5,000 years ago. But Dornigal itself has been here much longer, since before the sundering that we believe damaged our machines. Unfortunately, our memories from that time have been overwritten. Overwritten? You mean in the archive, or your memory personally? An Earthen's memories are erased upon recharging. Hence the need to upload our memory gems to the archive with each charge cycle. I am not offended, but we are unfortunately in decline. Without a way to recharge, we will eventually all enter stasis. When will that happen? Sooner for some than others. In the next ten centuries, we will all cease to function. I'm... sorry to hear that. Do not worry. We machine speakers are working hard to reinitiate the machines. I hope it works, speaker. Truly.
that's the greatest thing about the war within so far. Honestly, I, I really enjoy this, those little snippets of lore dumping. So let's head over to the tailoring trainer. Hello there. What can I... Do I have some? I don't have anything. That's uh, great. <laughs> and do I have enchanting already? I do have enchanting. Uh, where was enchanting? Search for some purple crystals around here somewhere. It's all pretty new, so I'm not entirely sure where to uh, where to go for what stuff to get something. But overall, that's okay. Speak to Flight Master Bream. But first of all, I want to talk to Bran. The answers are here. I can feel Hello there. Adventuring in Kazalgar. <clears throat> We've got scouts in every corner of Kazalgar, and they all report the same thing. Trouble. Seems we got, we got here just in time, huh? Check the scouting map on the table behind you and lend a hand when you can. Review the scouting map chosen uh, to choose an area within Kazalgar to support. Travel safe! Uh, I think I'll go chronologically and start. I mean, chronologically, I'll. Oh. Well, it's stupid. I, I, I want to stop. Uh, start with. Uh, with the Isle of Dawn. Interesting. Grasp. I'm not about to leave the Isle of Dawn unexplored. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> you sure have. You sure have. Hello, innkeeper. Beds are scarce. We and now the light the master. The entire isle is under attack. Praise the Titans, you are safe, Mayrand. Who said that? Oh, you said that. No, I don't want to do this. I want to introduce myself. Were it not for the Storm Riders, the city may have fallen. We need the Council's direction. Okay, and now speak with Auditor Bal Balwurz. Belvers? I don't know how it's pronounced here. I have calibrated my prices to be reasonable. Uh, no, I don't need anything of you. Good, good, good. My directive has been fulfilled. So, Merix, let's continue. The <clears throat> Belgrim's vigilance has kept us safe all these years, but today we, <clears throat> but today we need help. The Eternal Titans and 71. I hate to admit it, but we have been caught unprepared by the Nerubians. Our processes focused on sustaining Dornigal and not uh, and our declining population. Stormward Belgrim's stalwart pride has kept him and the Storm Riders capable fighters, but they are already stretched thin, and they are not builders. The core waste damage. Passes our ability to fix it, but that was not always so. I suppose if you wish to understand, you must learn more about us. Learn from Merrix about the Council of Dornigal. Go where the Edicts and lead. Tell me. The Titans uplifted four wards: the Council Ward, the Storm Ward, the Stone Ward, and the High Speaker to keep the Edicts and build the Corway and its fortress, Dornigal. 
But the Titans left, and the machines stopped. The Unbound abandoned the Edicts, and the High Speaker retreated to the Ringing Deeps. And now, the machine speakers are cut off from us, and we have no means to fix the Coreway. Conversation <clears throat> initiated. We are fractured, fractured in half, and now our purpose is being t uh, tested. Titans give us strength. <sighs> then it seems long past time you stood united. We need to find this Edelgon, rebuild your Coreway, and take care of the Nerubians once and for all. Oh, I've got my first uh, hero talent point. Oh, the, uh, a, a new talent tree. Great. Mountain Thane. Mountain Thanes are fierce fighters that live to challenge themselves against worthy opponents. Drawing strength from the earth and power from the storm, they strike with blows that hit like a thunder clap to overwhelm their enemies. Lightning strikes. Lightning strikes. <laughs> Damaging enemies with thunderclap, raging blow or execute has a 25% chance to also strike one with a lightning bolt, dealing 15,000 nature damage. Lightning strikes occur 30% more often during Avatar. That's cool. And what's the capstone? Avatar of the Storm. Casting Avatar grants you two charges of thunder blast and resets the cooldown of thunderclap. While Avatar is not active, lightning strikes have a 10% chance to grant you Avatar for 4 uh, seconds. The next thunder, uh, thunder Blast. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Uh, crashing Thunder. Storm Strike or n Nature Damage. Your Storm Strike or Nature Damage. Your abilities deal increased 5%. Storm Strike Damage. <laughs> I think this should read uh, your abilities steal oh the storm strike or nature damage your ability steal is increased by five percent dude there should be a the in the beginning of the in, in the beginning of the sentence that's so uh, much more uh much more uh, beneficial for the reading he's thunderclap damage okay th this focuses on thunderclap as far as i can see let's see what slayer has to offer a vicious warrior who sets their sights on a target and pursues it relentlessly overwhelming their foes with an onslaught of steel and might slayer's dominance your attacks against your primary target have a high chance to overwhelm their defenses and trigger slayer strike <clears throat> Dealing 37,000 damage and applying marked for execution. Increasing the damage they take from your next execute by 15% stacks three times. It's nice. And what's the capstone here? Unrelenting onslaught. When you execute a target that you've marked for execution, you both reduce the, reduce the cooldown of Bladestorm by five seconds and apply two stacks of overwhelmed to the target per stack of marked for execution consumed. You can now use Pummel and Stormbolt while blade storming. That's neat. Imminent Demise. So, uh, I don't know. I think this is more of a single target build. So I think I'll go with Slayer. I, I do have my... Um, Ravager and I've built my uh, Whirlwind and the AoE capabilities of Whirlwind so this could be a nice um, hybrid build I'm, I'm not, not entirely sure but I think I'll go with Slayer what is this? <clears throat> Imminent Demise every three stacks every th three Slayer strikes you gain sudden death using sudden death accelerates your next blade storm striking one additional time Maximum three. Blade Storm's total duration is unchanged. But I have not skilled into Blade Storm. That's bad. That's pretty stupid. Each strike of Blade Storm applies overwhelmed to all enemies affected. <clears throat> 
increasing damage you deal to them by 1% for 20 seconds, maximum 12 stacks. Not entirely convinced that this is a, a, a good option. I don't have Bladestorm, I went with Ravager, and I don't have a Thunderclap, because I choose not to. Mm. What is this? Relentless Pursuit. Charge grants you 70% movement speed for 3 seconds. Charge remove all movement, movement impairing effects. <clears throat> this effect cannot occur more than once every 30 seconds or vicious agility. Heroic Leap reduces the cooldown of charge by 5 seconds and charge reduces the cooldown of heroic leap by 2 seconds. Oh, this is nice. Death Drive, you heal for 15% of damage dealt by sudden death. Cool. Calling Cyclone, each strike of Blade Storm deals an additional 20% damage, evenly split across all targets. Your next Rampage after Blade Storm ends deal 50% additional damage. I think I might be uh, tempted to spec into Blade Storm and not into Ravager. Bloodthirst critical strikes <clears throat> increase the damage of your next Bloodthirst by 20 seconds. Not too uh, interesting. When Raging Blow resets its own cooldown, your next Raging Blow deals 30% additional damage and 30% additional critical damage. Neat. Oh, excuse me. Uh, show no mercy. Marked for execution increases the critical strike chance and critical strike damage of your next execute on the target by 15%. That's good. Bloodthirst has a 20% chance to cause you to unleash a flurry of... <laughs> yeah. Uh, flurry of... Deal. Striking all nearby enemies for nearly 30,000 damage and applying overwhelmed uh, deals reduced damage beyond 8 targets. Slayer's Malice, Raging Blows, damage increased by... Okay, we go with this and I think I'll have to... I think I'll have to go with uh, Bladestorm instead of um thing. This is every other time Bladestorm or Ravager deal damage, you automatically cast a Bloodthirst at your target or random nearby enemy. Bladestorms and a, uh, a Ravager's damage are increased by 30%, but they now have two charges and generate Reduced by 37 and regenerate 10 additional rage each time they deal damage. Mm. This is more uh, bursty. I think I'll go with this and I'll go over to Blade Storm. Could be good, What's could be bad. I don't know, actually. I don't know. Um, I'm already recording for over an hour, so I think I might take a quick break to stretch my legs and everything. So, I, I think... Yeah, I think I'll end the recording quickly. Yeah, that's a couple of episodes recorded. That's okay. Okay then, gamers. I hope you liked the new experience. I hope you're having you're having a blast playing the war within yourselves. And if you are not playing it yet, quite yet, I hope you're enjoying my um, way of presenting the story to you. I'm pretty sure that uh, the story will be good. I don't know, it's only the first couple of chapters of the uh, campaign unlocked by now. But, uh, but but the direction is pretty good. I really like it so far. 
and the leveling is absolutely great. I love the zones. I already have my level 80 equipped with 570 something gear and I don't feel like sweating too much. I'm more likely to level one or two alts in the first two weeks before Mythic Plus and, and raiding starts and all that stuff. I mean, before Season 1 basically starts. So I'm taking it pretty chill. I hope you do too. Or I'd rather say I hope you do what you think is fun. So, because fun is uh, different for everyone. I love that. Sto I love the story. I love the progression of the leveling curve. It is cool. And I love the zones. The zones. God damn it, those zones. <laughs> okay, gamers. Enough rambling. I really need to stretch my legs a little bit. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of my coming leveling series, I'm leveling this one. And then my troll druid that I leveled in Dragonflight will be another one. And my paladin is my train eye paladin is always on a daily lockout no not on a daily lockout but as a daily series okay i hope you liked it as i said if you want to see more of my stuff that i just talked about consider subscribing to my channel and w until the next video bye gamers <laughs>